President Obama has a plan to jumpstart the economy by dumping $50 billion into the country's infrastructure. He says it's going to create jobs, but isn't that what the first stimulus was supposed to do last year? In fact, the Department of Transportation got $38.6 billion last year. About half of that has been paid out, only half. So where's the rest of the money going, and why aren't those billions stimulating the economy? We are joined right now by Republican Congressman John Micah of Florida and Congressman uh, Peter DeFazio of Oregon. Both are senior members of the Committee of Transportation and Infrastructure, which is what we're talking about, guys. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank Morning. you. Congressman Michael, let's start with your argument, and that is, why do we need another $50 billion in infrastructure? There are still billions and billions and billions left in the kitty uh, that's supposed to go for in infrastructure. Well, exactly. We've got uh, a lot more than just half. We've got 70% of the money still in Washington coffers. Now, they'll tell you some of it's allocated. But there's so much red tape paperwork that you can't get the money out there. So uh, they're proposing another $50 billion. I have no problem in investing in America's in a crumbling infrastructure. But uh, let's spend the money that's out there. And uh, then they came up with another tax uh, proposal. So right. uh, I'm not how okay. to trot on the proposal. Uh, Congressman DeFazio, uh, what about the fact that there was a senior White House guy who apparently told reporters, in the short term, this is not going to generate any jobs. Uh, we're not going to see any jobs until 2011. That's a problem. Well, the joke in the Democratic caucus is uh, how come President Obama uh, talked about infrastructure on Labor Day, and it's because Larry Summers and the rest of the economic team were out of town. We've been fighting for a year to get infrastructure on their agenda. Right. And like John, I want long-term investment. Another short-term shot like the stimulus is not what we need. You don't right. get the maximum multiplier effect out of that. Uh, Congressman DeFazio, uh, this should have been done last year. Uh, they should have done this last year, going after this kind of job. October 1st last year, our long-term transportation authorization expired. Uh, we should have had a new bill in place, six years' worth of investment to rebuild uh, 150,000 bridges, a $60 billion deficit in our transit systems all across America, millions of jobs made in America because of the Made in America requirements in the bill. Okay, there you go. Uh, Congressman Mike, I'll give you the final word. Well, again, uh, we, we've tried from our side, the Republican side, work with Peter, with uh, Mr. Oberstar. Last year, we, we uh, came together. We wanted to do a six-year bill. They uh, deep-sixed that. Uh, uh, they opted for an 18-month bill. We could have had people working by now. Now we have an extension that expires in just a few more months, and we have... Uh, uh, you know, this new tax and yep. spend proposal, it's not going to float. All right, uh, good enough. Uh, guys, we thank you very much for presenting both sides right. of the political spectrum. John Micah and Peter DeFazio, thank you guys. Thank you. Meanwhile, straight ahead, talking about money. Imagine this, buy a house with just a 67 cent down payment. It happened. But here's the problem. Isn't that the reason the housing bubble burst in the first place? Plus, Bristol Palin will be here live, how she's juggling motherhood, charity work, and now she's dancing with the stars. This program is delivered to you by UPS. Let UPS put the power of logistics to work for you. Visit thenewlogistics.com. Logistics makes the world work better. When it's planes in the sky for a chain of supply, that's logistics. When the parts for the line come precisely on time, that's logistics. A continuous link that is always in sync, that's logistics. Carbon footprint reduced, bottom line gets...